Hello, everybody. I'm Imania Kezara, a PhD candidate at the University of Michigan School of Information. I've built one academy to connect the students and researchers across different schools in the United States to collaboratively study, research, and share whatever they learn in a large knowledge graph. Multiple learning and research communities are emerged on one academy, which are being led by different people. I lead the cognitive psychology of learning community. In this community, we study cognitive psychology and memorizing literature. Using one academy, we break down articles into granular knowledge pieces, connect them within a larger context of research, communicate our findings to other community members, and utilize our knowledge to conduct research. We also have an experiment pipeline through which we conduct many experiment sessions on desirable difficulties. We collect reading comprehension, free recall, and qualitative data from students who compare different types of desirable difficulties and we analyze the, the data qualitatively and quantitatively to co-author research papers to submit to reputable journals and conferences. So far, we have published multiple papers in related ACM conferences. In LAC 2022, we introduced measures of semester level spacing and procrastination. We proved that while most researchers have been using massing and procrastination interchangeably in the literature, there are different concepts. We found that while incentivized spacing significantly affected the student's performance, procrastination did not. In 60 2022, we published two papers. In one, we introduced a new method of teaching that we called retrieval based teaching. Our analysis of 684 students' log data over four semesters revealed that this method incentivizes the spacing and improves grades. We also presented another paper at 6022, where we compared the students' log of ebook interactions and found that COVID-19 pandemic significantly impacted computer science students' study habits in a negative way and called for designing strategies to encourage more effective study strategies. In ICER 2021, we introduced the concept of incentivized spacing and showed that not only female students do space their studying more, but also benefit more from spacing, which reduces the gender gap in computer science education. In CHI 2020, we introduced QMAPs to, to engage the students in voluntary question generation and prerequisite linking, which we showed deepens their understanding of the concepts. In ICER 2019, we introduced a spaced interleaved retrieval practice tool that is motivating and effective. We implemented this practice tool on Rude Stone textbooks which has been used by many schools in the United States and outside of the United States. Through analyzing a student's log data in an introductory programming course, we found that while hours studying the text, the ebook did not significantly affect the student's exam scores, every hour of using this practice tool increased their scores by 1.0% significantly. By joining us, you will work remotely with an interdisciplinary community of talented students and researchers from different schools in the United States. Gain experience using crucial skills in research, including paper analysis, communication, summarization, and making connections between disciplines. You will get involved in all aspects of conducting an online controlled experiment under my direct supervision. You will learn about a mixed method of study, including both qualitative and quantitative data and analysis to prepare for future PhD programs in related disciplines. And you'll work towards publishing research on cognitive psychology of learning and memorizing in reputable venues. And we'll have opportunities to take on leadership roles within the community.
We only accept applicants who have a strong academic background in topics related to education, learning science, cognitive psychology, memory science, and statistics, or econometrics. They should have a minimum GPA of 3.5 out of four, and they should be fluent in writing and, learn and, and reading in English. This is due to reading a lot of related literature and authoring different sections of the paper. In terms of responsibilities, you will first complete the University of Michigan program for the education and evaluation in, in responsible conduct of research called peers before engaging in the research. Then you will dedicate about 25 hours a week over the summer break to engage in all aspects of the research project. You will conduct several experiment sessions and guide participants through the session. You will automatically code the qualitative data collected throughout our experiments and engage in ideation, critical thinking, and peer review of research proposed by other community members. We regularly study textbooks and research papers, summarize them, and share the essence of what we learn collaboratively on our uh, large knowledge graph on One Academy and present the essence of what we learn from the related papers and book chapters in weekly meetings for future uh, discussions. Finally, we co-author the final research results as papers to submit to reputable conferences and journals. To apply to our community, first, you need to create an account and a schedule to participate in our knowledge representation experiments. You're supposed to complete the three online sessions as a participant to better learn how we conduct our experiments. Then you need to submit your most recent resume and an official transcript, including a GPA above 3.5. And you need to explain in a few paragraphs why you apply to this specific community. Finally, you should carefully read one of our current working papers and answer some questions about the content of the paper. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns about this research community. Thank you.